Welcome back to the Beat 139. I'm Don. I'm Pretty Lou. I'm Don Vito. We Harlem. I'm Lady Ray. Katie Allo repping Harlem again. Wait, so so the two of you guys know we gonna talk about this Facebook. We're gonna talk about No, we're not. We're not focusing on the guest that here. This beautiful Absolutely. young lady, Miss P Star. Next time y'all say where y'all from after your names, we fight it. Welcome okay. to the B139, Miss Lady. Hey, Priscilla! <laughs> All right, okay. What up? Welcome to our show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got Miss P Star in the building, American hey. rapper, dancer, models. Singer, actress, director, and disc jockey. That's right. Nice. Oh, you do a you lot, mom. I did. Well, I did. I did do DJ um, during college. Right. Um, nice. I had this like radio show. So you still host? And I host. And stuff? I yeah. hosted like that was, during my college. Nice. And Miss P Star's oh. best known. She's oh, best nice. known for a role as Jessica Ruiz in the 2009 oh. version of The Electric Company. Yes, nice. yes, yes. Which nice. is currently on HBO still currently right nice. now. Yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah. You can find that on demand. You can find that on demand right now, man. Yes. Oh, I like and, and as that. the focus of the PBS Independent Lens documentary, Peace Star Rising. That's Welcome right. to the fellow, Miss Peace Star. Hey. Oh my God, you guys are so <laughs> You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I, got, I remember when, when you was young, because, um, you know, I'm from um, 30, 139th of Lennox, and uh, Tom, your man, your former manager, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. from 140th of Lennox. Yeah, I remember yeah, he used yeah. to have you all over performing and stuff. Oh, I thought he yeah. was like 10? I was 10. I mean, you started that young? I was yeah, really young. Really young. Yeah. When you started. Yeah. 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 No, but yeah. yeah, I was I was up in Harlem a lot during those yeah. younger um, younger days, and I started doing the music when I was like around nine years old, nice. professionally speaking. Um, but like around ten, eleven, twelve, it, it was when I was circulating around that area doing performances, Rucker Park. Yeah, I remember. Everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, was yeah. I remember because when um, V told me, I like that, that name sounds familiar. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, I got it. Uh, yeah, but I remember that was years ago. That was yeah. so long ago. So how many, how many years you got in the game now, huh? I don't even know. <laughs> Change that time. 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 Like, it's just the norm now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The life yeah. is the norm now. The life is the norm now. I mean, yeah, you would say that because I, I, I'm, I'm just getting back into the music since okay. I had stopped for such a long time to pursue my education in, in college and stuff like oh, that. Good for so you. Fun. So what did you study? I studied theater and education, double Very major. Very nice. I went to a small liberal arts school in the middle of nowhere. That's <laughs> and, the way it usually works. Uh, that's though. the way it works. I mean, they had the money and they gave yeah. it to me. So that's right. Hey, that's you know. fantastic. Yeah. So you, so mm -hmm. a combination of uh, Puerto Rican and Cuban. Cuban and Puerto Rican. Oh, no way. Energy. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, it's so, it's so crazy because I have a little bit of everything. Like my, my mom, she's she's Dominican and Trinidadian. My father Dominican. is Cuban and Puerto Rican. And so I have like a little bit of everything. But I grew up with my father. So um, I've always in, in embraced that. that and you got Trinidad. You. See, yeah, I know yeah, where the energy yeah. coming from. So where you get the name Miss P Star from? That's my name, Priscilla Star Diaz. Oh, there it is there. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's my name. Oh, it's crazy yeah. because people always be like, where'd you get P Star from? Is that, uh, that's porn star? Like, that's how... I'm oh, like, no. I kid you not. That was like, that was the intention. Was like, it no, that's <laughs> But I'm like, no, that's my name. Like, yeah. it's on my birth certificate, Priscilla Star Diaz. And they think that the middle name is like a joke. Like, I'm trying to be famous or something. I'm like, uh huh. I was, I was, born, I was born this way. Uh, I was born this way. Birth certificate, just it's right here. It's right here. Okay, that's my name. Yeah. That's yeah. my name. Yeah, but that, yeah, that's my name. That's my so, name. who's been your mentor in music? Because I know you rap. So yeah, let's yeah, talk yeah. about the rapping right now. Okay. So who's been your mentor as far as music and who are you into right now? Oh my God, I'm into so many people right now. It's ridiculous. Okay, uh, first of all, mentors in general, like I am inspired by young artists at this moment mm -hmm. all the time. Like if you're an upcoming young artist, 
I admire that. Like I like I love that. I, I feel yeah, that. Feel like passion. I feel the passion, and that's something that I feel too. The like there's this girl named Melly that's really dope. Malibu Mitch that's really dope. Like these young people, young Devin. She's like the 16 year old rapper. Oh my gosh, she's so fire. Really? Like these people are like you know who I really look up to and and, and like really appreciate. And that's yeah. where I find that mentorship. I don't know them personally, yeah. but. I they inspire, inspire, they inspire you. so yeah. much, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, right now, the young audience is where it's at. Like, they're doing so much because they have that the platform, platform yeah. to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, that is definitely where I get a, a lot of my um, my source, my inspiration, the fuel that I have. And then, in general, you know, just there's so many artists out there that I could just name out of the top of my head. Like, one of my favorite idols is Jennifer Lopez. And I, I know that sounds cliche and stuff, no, but that, it's no, not. it's not. No. 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 She inspired me to start yeah, the music in the right. first place with that with the music um with the vid, with the movie Selena. Like she was all we had Latinos. Yeah. Oh, the Latinos. Oh, yeah, the Latinos you know, you know, you know, yeah. So, so, so that's just that's off the top right there. But you know, all these different artists right now that are young and up and coming, they are killing it, and I just love it, and I'm so inspired by them. You have no idea, y'all. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right. Thing. Yeah. It's beautiful. So, so when you got back into the rap game? I know, right? Probably like three weeks ago. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, so, so we basically breaking you back in. Right now, yes, you guys. So this right, is actually so my first radio oh, like okay. thing that I'm doing since I. Yeah, like the so, last time I was so on the radio. So being that welcome back, bringing you so, back into the rap game. Can we hear something real quick? You want to hear something right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's get okay. something. Let's go. Let's get okay. something. Priscilla Star. Okay, right, here she goes. Explicit, go. by the way, because you know that. Nah, right, right, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 Yeah, these silly fools keep rolling like fruit loops My flows got you spinning like a hula hoop You ain't hot, you ain't shit, you ain't chicken noodle soup Close the door, roof you up like a fucking coop Cause I'm fucking rude Your mans want me too, cause I make him come quicker I make his toes quiver, evidence on his knickers You just in time for the grand finale Your pussy dried up and crabby Have some manners and cover, that's Gabby If I ain't happy, or hell breaks loose I'll impose as a threat when I'm grumpy like a wild moose This ain't a game like I pick and choose, I produce and make history on everything I introduce With every line and every rhyme I advance These little rappers stay behind on time So I drop my pen cause I understand your circumstance Now here's your chance, I used to be like you Forgetting how to write, they put me on the spot I forgot to hold the mic, lost my appetite Cause our rhymes used to sicken people like a parasite I evolved like nitroglycerin cause I'm dynamite To be the bomb, it ain't overnight Don't be a sexist, what's wrong with a girl like me? Spit a Ball for a girl like me, roll it up with a girl like me, come against me. I'll probably be the last girl you see It's P. Dot Star and I'm coming to eat I'm coming for checks and shows, y'all And I'm coming for beats I'm coming with direct flows Do you wanna get beat? Do you wanna receive? Forget it, I just buy you the clothes The music thing could get to you Yo, the game is intense I want it bad like I'm on the train Begging for sense She's going in, she's going at it again So adequate with the raps, y'all Y'all, this is how you balance it In general, in, general, in your life, did you ever listen to her? Has he I, ever influenced I, you? He definitely influenced me. I mean, I Eminem, is, Eminem is amazing. I've been influenced by Eminem. I mean, Big L. Like, I mean, a lot three of... Three now, Big yeah, L. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, three that's, now. That's, that's, that's where I got that. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, my God. Okay. 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 All right. Hold on. Okay. Okay. The flow, yeah. That's, okay. that's him right that there. That was yeah. A little disrespectful okay. with the grin, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> 
I like that. Thank you very much. You guys are so kind. I love it. So now, when you started, what made you leave the music and go into acting now? Okay, so a, a lot of people get that very confused because I never left the music to go into acting. It was a, it was always an in-between thing. I did everything growing up. Okay. And so when I was doing music, I was also doing acting, and I had a lot of gigs in between um, music and acting. And then it wasn't until when I did Electric Company, because it was a full-time job, we I signed a contract for three seasons. Like It was like... A full-time thing that I really and it was influenced by for literacy and kids that was the main audience there nice. so I couldn't just focus all the time on music as the way I wanted to um, so I did that for a while and then I at, at around the age of uh, 13 I was uh, reading um, I wasn't reading at the grade level that I was supposed to be reading um, and I realized that a lot of the traveling that I was doing with music and all that stuff had um, deferred me from like being involved school. in school. Yeah. So um, that's when I really just stopped everything and I went back to high school so I can pursue my education and then I went to college. And so if I had to say one of the biggest reasons why I stopped a lot of things just in the entertainment gen and generally with the education, um, that's mad fun, bro. But it was it was the education that primarily kept me um, at, at bay with things in terms of music and stuff like that because I felt like it was important and it was right. important to be able to articulate yourself and be able to speak for yourself um, and have your own voice and have your own opinions, um, especially as a young you know woman of color in general in this in this neighborhood and stuff like that. So, so let me ask you a quick question: yeah. Could you? Um, Rapping uh, Latino also? You know, she asked, Miss Lila asked me that same thing. Well, you know, I can't. I can't. I can't. I mean, I can't. Like, I've never written anything in Spanish. Like, I would write stuff, and then I'll have, like, a little Spanish here and there. Like, I'll, I'll like, put something there. But not fluently, unfortunately. You know what I mean? And I don't write in Spanish fluently. So, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm willing to learn, though. I mean, I'm still young, so I have the time to really craft myself into writing how to write in Spanish. The key with Spanish is the way it's pronounced. It's the way it's written. Yeah, and I write Spanish. Very yeah, well. it's ridiculous. And I grew up in Span like I also was in the Bronx for a while too before I moved to Harlem. Um, so when I was in the Bronx, Spanish was the main language out there. Um, and so um, I definitely grew up, but I grew up in like the the the. Uh, the hood Spanish, like the, yeah. you know, like Spanglish. Spanglish kind yeah. of thing, you know what I mean? That when yeah. you go into a Spanish class, you're trying to say a word, and it's like, no, that's not how you say it. I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> kind of thing, so, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so just stop, describe your style in three words. My style musically? How do you want to describe it? Uh, your style, period. My style, period. Um, okay, this in is three interesting. Words. All right, ambitious. Um, Oh damn, this is hard. <laughs> um, ambitious, uh, sexy, and um, educated. Okay, nice. Mm. Yeah, nice. Okay. That's just I off like the top. It. I was like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like confident, that. confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That exudes for me. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it really does. I love awesome. it. I love it. Is she you, know, you, write, yeah. you write your own stuff? Uh, duh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't, but you know, question? that's important. No, yeah. no, that is so, and it's so important in this yeah, day and age important. now. I mean, yeah, especially yeah, for women, like in general, you have to. Like, it's, it's, we're, we're past 1999, we're past all of that. We're on a new generation, we're on a new movement. The platforms are there for you to do it. It's so yeah. easy. Google is so easy to get to, yeah. and it, it yeah. just helps you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so it's definitely important. So I'm, um, I'm gonna get to the song real quick, bro. I'm gonna play like. Oh wait, let me talk that. about that before you get into that because that's a funny. When I decided to like start doing music again, um, this was one of the songs that was optional to bring out. When I wrote it, I wrote it as a joke. Not kidding. I wrote it to make fun of myself, to make fun of just like where I was in in, in general, um, because the song is about being broke, and it's real simple. It, it is really just about a post-grad student who just came out of graduation, dealing with post-grad um, depression, because that's a real thing, um, and then dealing with all of the, um, the burdens that you have to deal with in terms of, of uh, student loans, um, and the, debt, the amount of debt that I had to deal with, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and I realized that I wasn't alone in that situation. I mean, we're talking about uh, in this, uh, this nation is dealing with an immense 
a student loan crisis right now. Absolutely. And the average person, at least from my year, the average person that leaves college, they leave with at least $39,000 in debt, average. Right. It's ridiculous. Um, so when I wrote it, at first I wrote it as a joke. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna bring it out. But I wanted to bring it out because it's real. It's something that people can relate to. It's something that we can talk about because my the youth isn't talking about it. We're not talking about the importance of, of what Student loan, um, student loans can do for you when you sign papers and the consequences you would deal with for the rest of your life mm -hmm. after. Yeah. after. Um, and so it's unfortunate that we have to do it, but um, that's just the way it is. And so I wrote it as a joke, but it, it's it's funny to me because it's true. Everyone has their moments of being broke, and it's really about being broke. So you guys are gonna like it. Let's let's let's, let's do it. I'm broke, man, I'm broke, I don't know how to manage my money And you laugh in my face, I don't think this is funny Only made 12 an hour just to feed my tummy Extra change only if I'm lucky Man, I'm broke, man, I'm broke, I don't know how to manage my money And you laugh in my face, I don't think this is funny Only made 12 an hour just to feed my tummy Extra change only if I'm lucky Man, I'm broke, man, I'm broke, I don't know how to pay my rent My bank account rejected me cause of how much I spent The other day I texted you for another letter just to wake up and do it again Man, I'm broke, man Man, I'm broke, man, I'm broke. One day But it's alright, it's alright It's alright I'll be rich yeah. One day I'll be rich Man, I'm broke, man Man, I'm broke One day But it's alright, it's alright It's alright I'll be rich One day Yeah, I'll be rich Man, I'm broke, man, I'm broke I don't know how to pay my debt That fashion over to get all I wish I thought ahead I'm heating up a cup of noodles Trying to forget Everything that I ever regret Man, I'm broke, man, I'm broke How am I gonna feed my cat? I put the quarter with the dollar I already had Man, my pocket's so broke It's a handicap I think I'm gonna buy another scratch Man, I'm broke, man, I'm broke How did I blow it all the way? Direct deposit hit the bank Fucking yesterday Now I'm trying to make cash Doing surveys This shit hurts like a toothache Man, I'm broke, man Man, I'm broke one day, but it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I'll be rich one day. I'll be rich. Man, I'm broke, man. Have you ever heard of D1 music? No. He has a song called Sally Maybach. Get out. Sally, you have to watch Stop. it. And it's this big Victoria celebratory video about him finally paying all his student loans. Oh it's my such God. a dope concept. I gotta hear and that. D1 music, go to D1 YouTube music. Okay. and put Sally May back. Nice. Oh my goodness. It's, it's dope, but that is like a continuation of his same concept. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. In a different spin. That, that, song, that song is hot. It's hot in this, for the yes. simple fact that it's different. You know, yeah. it's, it's different, and right the, the beat is yeah. cool, and it's, it's, it's not, it's not all ratchet like everything is coming. It has personality, it, it has, yeah. it has me, and a lot of people can relate to that. But being it's honest, right? it's yeah. honest. You know, but it's you know what I'm saying? Honest. Yeah, real, you know. And the beat is hot too. Yeah, that producer, who's the producer? It is a real beat, beat. Natural beats. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it has yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's how cool I. Song. It's I like definitely natural, flow. natural yeah. flow, and it was supposed to be that way. It was supposed to be fun. just simple, fun, yeah. something yeah. that everybody could yeah. relate yeah. to. Yeah. I think yeah. that it yeah. balanced it because because the beat is so cool, and you're actually singing about being broke, which is stressful. Yeah, but the beat is like, yeah, I'm broke. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> <laughs> really thought about being a college student like I want to be I want to see college students grab that seven dollar wine bottle go yeah. back to their dorm rooms and sing this song yeah. you know what, what it I mean like, like that it made me feel groovy like summertime Will Smith oh, yeah. Jazzy Ooh. Jeff summertime yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. summertime that's the groove yeah. that it was yeah. giving me and you yeah, get people's yeah. attention like, like that because a lot of people nowadays sometimes if they don't initially listen to the lyrics, they listen to the beat. Mm -hmm. and you get their attention with that, and then there's a message behind That's it that exactly. most people and, 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 and the songs really win with the hook. A lot of people don't don't get the lyrics, but they catch the hook. So everybody, exactly. I'm a broke man. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. 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 Y
it's easy, right? Broke, man, you know? <laughs> like I think you can relate to it even if it's not, you know, being broke from student loans. Exactly. You could just be broke. Everything exactly. in general. Everything in general. Every day. Every day. Oh, applicable yeah. to a lot of people struggling. <laughs> and there's a paycheck, stigma, paycheck. there's a stigma, especially with hip hop culture, about not talking about being broke. Everybody getting money all of a sudden. Everybody got money. Or lying about the money they get. It's, like, it's supposed to relieve yeah. you. Like, we stigma, all know the you know? more you make, the more you spend. So it, at the yeah, end of the day, you, could be, that's you can be making six figures and you're still broke. So you probably, you because mean. your bills are <laughs> equivalent or over that yeah, six yeah, figures yeah. that you Your debt to income yeah, ratio. This is yeah. definitely Don't the best the yeah. more thrift store. Ah, uh, like, yes, you know what I mean? yes, like, yes, Him exactly. walking down the street, but now it's cool to go and they call it vintage, you know? Yes, you go exactly. down the street and get your mm -hmm. stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm broke, but I was balling in college. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like, it shows, it shows your versatility because a little while ago you was, you was spitting hard, you was going know, at it. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you're yeah, on some broke, man. Broke, yeah, broke, yeah, broke, yeah, yeah. She got different styles. She got different styles. You know what I'm saying? So can you yes. tell the people um, where they can find that song at? Um, you can find that song everywhere. Spotify, Apple, um, iTunes, um, um, Distro, uh, uh, just a title I think is on title as well. You can find it on all stream services. Um, you, and what's the title of the song again? It's called Broke. It's called Broke. P-Star. Uh, Miss P-Star Broke. P -Star Miss P -Star. broke. Oh. Um, if you are having trouble finding it, you can also go to my Instagram, which is Miss Priscilla Star. Um, and then the link is in my bio as well. So what's next for you, P-Star? What, what, what do you have coming up next? Or what is it? That you're trying to do next. What do you? What else do you want to get? Um, I, you know, I have no boundaries. I really want to do a lot of things, everything, if I can, if I can touch my hands on a lot of things, that'll be great. Um, I did a, a feature film uh, not too long ago, which we're starting to uh, bring into uh, different festivals like Sundance and Tribeca. So we're hoping that that gets uh, through cross okay. fingers and picked up. Um, I do music videos. I'm a dancer as can, well. We, before you move on, can you tell us the name of that film? So um, the, the the film is called Release currently. From what I've been told, the director is changing the, the name uh, of okay. it. Um, but it's with myself and Ian Biola. He's also an actor who's on Power and Orange is New Black. Um, that is on the film with me. Um, and then uh, I, I do dancing, so I'm on a bunch of music videos. I have another music video coming out that I'm a dancer in as well, um, that I can't name the artist apparently, but it'll be out hopefully by the end of this um, month. Okay. Um, and I'm writing music still, I'm in the studio, just came from the studio yesterday, I might be releasing another single that is completely different from that, by the way, right. so mm -hmm. don't get shocked when you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> we won't, so we won't, we won't, we won't, we won't, we won't, we it's completely different, but that's that's the point. Like yeah. as an artist, especially as up and coming artists, yeah, you want to make sure you have that versatility. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta keep putting out songs that are just different. And yeah. people right. have short attention spans today. You know yeah. what I mean? You pull out one song, you gotta pull out another. Yeah. And and that's just where I'm going at this point. I don't have plans to make a mixtape or EP anytime soon until I can rebuild the fan base um, on just alone the music that I release. So I have another single coming out mm -hmm. um, first week of October, so definitely nice. look out for that. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm working in the studio daily with different artists, um, Raw Blue, Local Ninja, I've, I've got some projects with them coming up, so I'm working. Nice. I better work. Oh, no, Very nice. Nice. Yeah, so um, we, we, we definitely um, we're glad to have you. Thank you, you know for having me. It's been a pleasure. I'm so excited yeah. to be here. This is definitely pleasure. fun. Yes. Harlem bound. Like I love it so much. Yeah. I grew up one four nine in Saint Nick. I'm not yeah. kidding. Like this right is like there. right here. Right up the so mm -hmm. definitely, I love it. Thank yeah. you guys so Thank much. You so I much appreciate for being that. We here. all Harlem. We all. 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 We Everybody trying to get a piece of the pie, but they don't respect it. When I make 
it, they gon' try to test me But I don't know, boo-boo, that ain't the right thing to do Fuck the niggas always telling you wrong For it to be right, you gotta be right Ain't no one left, they stay sucking on me Like they on my breath